G'day, welcome back to Project Y. Finally, in this episode, we're painting the Datsun. Alrighty, so it's been a while. Uh, it's been about three months since I think I last posted a video. Um, getting you up to speed on what I've been doing, I've pretty much been just doing body work for three months, trying to get it ready to paint. Today, we're going to be priming it. I've got a couple things to do before I can lay down paint. I'll walk you through them. But yeah, today, prime. Pretty much the body is ready to be painted. I've got some tiny things I have to fix. I um, have to take out the windscreen and then uh, sand back with 400, but I'll talk you through that. To get you up to speed on something that's changed since, so pretty much I fixed the rear quarter. So if anyone remembers from the last video, the rear quarter was pretty butchered uh, after I welded it. Um, I've managed to fix that, I'll show you that now, and it looks a lot better than it did. Alright, so I've just been sanding down uh, all the areas of the car that I can at the moment with uh, 400 grit on an orbital sander, just power sander. Um, you can do it by hand, and I was doing it by hand, but just trying to fly through it at this point. But yeah, that seems to be working. The next thing to do, I'm just gonna blow down the car, get all the dust off it, and then I gotta cut out the front windscreen and tape that up. Um, and then once that's done, I can hit the areas that that was blocking. Then should be able to mask everything up. So you might be wondering, what's the point of taking out the windscreens in the car? Just leave them in and tape around them is what most people would do. Um, initially, that's what I was going to do, but the further I got into it, the further I realized that the seals on them are that badly cracked that taping around them was a nightmare, and I was getting, I was going to get spots where I didn't have proper coverage, and it was going to make the paint look crap. And then, on the other hand, if I have to switch them anyway, I might as well cut them out now so I can get a really good job done and then chuck back in new seals after it's painted. So yeah, I'll cut it out now. Um, you just get a Stanley knife and cut it. Alright, so the windshield's out, so pretty much I'm ready to uh, lay plastic over the whole car and then start masking up where I don't want there to be paint. Then do last final little bits of sanding, blow it off, wipe it down. Should be good. Alrighty, so the car's all taped up, it's all masked off. Uh, I've been sanding it all with 400 grit on just an orbital sander. It's ready to start building the, or the paint booth, uh, which I'll show. I'm gonna roll it out, need to wipe it down, build the paint booth. All right, so uh, the car has been masked off completely. I've masked off everything I wanted to. Pretty much I've masked it, so the only exposed area is actually the main body of the car. So all the pull-off panels are completely masked off and all the open areas. I went over the whole car with just some 400 grit sandpaper. Uh, just on an orbital sander. I just got this from Super Cheap Auto. Uh, I've then just gotten some paint drop sheets, some clear ones it's from Bunnings. And I've taped it all off. So we'll just build the paint booth now. Once we've done that, uh, we can wipe it down and I can start spraying paint on it. Um, yeah, should be cool to go. We'll start doing that now. All right, so we've hung the plastic on the ceiling just in case anything falls down. Now we're just gonna hang up the rest of the booth. All 
Alrighty, so uh, the booth has been built. I've got a small heater just running at like its lowest temperature uh, just to warm it up a little bit in here. Um, it's not crazy cold, but I just thought a little bit of heat couldn't hurt. So yeah, it's pretty simple. It's just we ran a line around in a box and then we've just pegged up drop sheets. Uh, when I come to do color, we're probably going to do it a bit more elaborately to make sure nothing can get in here. But for something like this, because I'll be sanding it after anyway, it's not a massive deal. Um, so now i just got to start wiping it down and then we should be ready to paint. Alrighty, so the time has come to paint our primer, both our primers. So I'll just talk you through what I'm using and what I'm doing. So <clears throat> pretty much uh, the primer that we're going to spray first is going to be an etch primer. Okay, it's going to be an epoxy 1K primer. Uh, I got all the products except for the thinners, gun and mask from uh, Milsom's Auto Paint Supply uh, just down Build Highway. After that, I'll then be spraying on the filler primer, which is quite a thick based primer, uh, which I'll be spraying at 3 to 1 with the thinners and doing quite a heavy coat over the car. I'll see how many coats I have to do, but yeah, that's how it's looking like it's going to go. <clears throat> I'm using a 3M mask with the correct filters. Um, and then the gun I'm using is a Black Ridge. So, I have to Google what it is. So I'm using a Black Ridge LVMP, so low velocity, medium pressure uh, spray gun. I think I got that right. I don't know. Um, so I've got a regulator on the bottom of it, which is also Black Ridge, and then I've just got a water trap filter. I've drained the compressor of any liquid. Yeah, this gun, I got it on sale and it was a pretty good price. Um, I've used it quite a few times so far and it's been great. I'm really happy with it. My compressor is only pumping out about 120 litres per minute, which is pretty low for painting, uh, which is why with a gun like this, it seems to perform really well. I'll be spraying at between 30 to 35 psi, probably on the lower end. Um, but yeah, now I'll start mixing paint. Also worth saying, I'm by no means experienced or know what I'm doing with this. Um, I've just put in a lot of research and asked around a bit. Um, so yeah, it's just sort of a first crack for me, I guess. So yeah, we're, we're painting. So I'm supposed to stand in here and film you without a mask on. Well, I didn't think you'd be getting in here. Oh. Alright, so pretty much that coat laid down like shit, um, it looks fucking terrible, but because it was a 50-50, the first coat's a 50-50 with the thinners, which is super thin, and because it's pretty cold, I think it just didn't work very well, so I'm hoping now when I do, a, it's going to be a thicker mix, it'll lay down a lot nicer and it'll be finer, um, I'm going to, in between while it's flashing off, I think I'm going to get the heater going and try and warm up the space in there. So I think the issue with that coat was, I think I laid it on too thick. So it's meant to be a misting coat, which I didn't read before I did it. But yeah, it's meant to be a misting coat, so I, did, I applied it too thick. This one's a 20% thinnest coat, so it's a lot thicker, so hopefully it'll lay on a lot nicer. Um, I'm not super worried about it, because I can just lay the filler primer over the top, and then it's all getting cut back after. And if there's any issues, I can just quickly cover up small patches if they need to be covered. 
But yeah, I'm just gonna lay down another coat now. Yeah, so you can see it's way thicker and darker. So it's gonna lay a lot better. That laid down way better. Um, I think it was just I was laying it on too thick and that laid down really good. Um, I did touch the roof with the hose at one point, which is a pain in the ass, but it's not like the end of the world. I just have to scuff it and then I'll have to mix up a small amount later and just spray it real quick. But I'll do one more coat of that and then we can do filler primer and then we can call it night. So yeah, it's going really well. Alrighty, so you can come in. There's no fumes. So as you can hopefully see on the camera, it's laid down a hell of a lot better. I guess the torch isn't really doing anything. But I had, there's some dust has fallen into it, but it's laid down a lot better than those other coats. Um, I think that's a successful sort of etch coat. Um, now I'm going to spray the filler primer and it should be fine. So yeah, once we spray that. Um, I'll just leave it to harden overnight and then we'll be fine. Sweet. Alrighty, so I've mixed up uh, the filler primer at 3 to 1. Um, now I'm just going to spray it. After that, I think I should only need one coat of it. I've mixed enough to... I've mixed 800 mil all up. So I should be able to get good coverage and then we should be cool. So I'll start doing it now. Here we are, panning the Datsun. We're all getting testy, there's no beer. And Harry's taking his sweet time. What? Oh. We've made a pretty dodgy booth in the carport, but we're happy with it. Dodgy. Ignore the sky, you can see through there. It's ventilation. Ventilation, there we go. It's so small in here, I can't get a good shot of the Datsun. I'll try and pan myself into the corner. We've prepped it. We've done the doors, you can see we've taped them up. There was a bit of controversy actually, because, uh, well, I think this side's neater and done better, but, you know. Bullshit, that side's a better side. Yeah, let us know in the comments. You can tell who did which. Don't look too closely under there. Actually, I won't even show you that. The roof's looking good though. That's what everyone's gonna look at. And we've just thrown a blank blanket over the front because we got really sick of taping stuff up. Uh, there's a little bit of lighting around so that we can see. It's already about 4.30, so we are a little... Oh, oh fuck, 5 o'clock. So, we're worried it's going to get a little dark as we go. But as we speak, Harry's mixing the paint. We have a nice little hardy hole through here. Using the red filters on the gun. Nah, so we're changing from a red filter to a glass filter. Well, I don't know if it's made of glass, but like a clear filter. Um, apparently the red ones are okay for a couple jobs. I've already used this one for a few jobs. And it's like, I don't know, it's picked up enough moisture. So I'm switching over to a different one. Because you can reuse them and apparently they're better. Um, hopefully we're right, then we'll start mixing paint and we can spray. AEG sponsoring us since 2016. Well, I don't use fucking AEG. <coughs> He's Roby, <laughs> like a real worksman. Working man's tools. Colour reveal. Colour reveal. Colour reveal. Don't look at that blue one over there. Fuck off. No. <laughs> Turn it the other way. Colour reveal. Oh, it's got sky blue written on it. Oh, there we are. Yeah. Um, oh, actual colour reveal. Alright, well, where are we going? It's all long and hard about custom colour. House of Colour cost a lot of money. 
<laughs> Milsom's auto paints. It did yeah. co it's still cost a lot of money. Yeah, paint's expensive. I think that's what you should take out of this TV, uh, this YouTube series. Don't, don't fix your car, just buy a good one. Too much work. There it is. Why is there a half line? Get a bit of a twizzle with the twizzle stick. Yeah. So we got it colour matched. The paint code we originally tried for didn't work out. It was just wrong. So the original paint code is Esperance Blue. So CLR529. And um, I sprayed it and it just didn't look right. And then I went to get a door matched. And the guy reckons it was way off. So like he reckons that Esperance Blue is not the colour. Yeah. So this is the colour. So just match it to what you have, not what it's supposed to be. Yeah. Hopefully, I think it'll be alright. Maybe. We're gonna be okay. I guess we're mixing paint, aren't we? Yeah. Push has come to shove. Yeah, I'm fucking shit myself. Um, Couldn't sleep. If you see us doing anything wrong, don't let us know in the comments. We'd rather <laughs> live in ignorance. Yeah, straight up, don't let me know. I don't want to know about it. Yeah. Yeah, are you wrong? I am wrong, yeah. Yeah, so uh, we are spraying at a ratio, so it's 40%. We're spraying at 40% paint and 60% thinners. I don't know what the ratio is. Um, but, yeah, it's all acrylic that I'm spraying. I'm not spraying any 2K or anything. Um, yeah, so we're going to mix that up. We'll mix up like 500 mil so we can fill the gun. And then while I'm in there, I think Jack will probably mix some more so we can sort of seamlessly... Oh, am I? What yeah, did you, you say? Are. Was it 60% thinners, 40% paint? Fuck. Oh, I'm not having it. Yeah, Milsons were kind enough to give me a little bunch of shit to help. 40% paint to 60% thinners. Uh, yeah. um, I don't know, dude. Um, but it's 800 mil. So, if, if we're assuming it's a litre, take one off each measurement. Hold on. Then I'll do then I'll do three hundred mils of paint and then I'll do uh five hundred mils of thinners, won't I? Maybe. I wasn't listening to you, sorry. Can you fuck it? times eight hundred equals forty eight thousand. Not mils. helpful. Four hundred and eighty mils. So we want four four hundred and eighty yeah. of thinners and fill the rest up to eight hundred with paint. With thirty paint what are you done? So we think we figured out the mix, but to be honest, we're not confident enough to tell you what it is because we're afraid that you'll rip us apart in the comments and tell us we're wrong. So it's a mystery blend for now. Alrighty, it's painted, it's blue now. Oh, it was blue already, but now it looks good. We already filmed this whole bit, but the mic wasn't turned on, so we're gonna do it again. Um, yeah, it looks really good on camera. It looks pretty good in real life. Um, it's got like a fair amount of dust in it, which was like gonna happen because of what we're shooting with. Um, but yeah, it looks good. We started at 9.30 this morning. We didn't actually lay down paint till about five. Um, because we had to mask all the doors, take the doors off, scotch bright, all the door jams and that. 600 grit the entire car. But yeah, it's painted and it looks good. On camera. <laughs> in, in real life? Uh, in real life, it's alright. Uh, as it's getting no, darker, it very good. as it's getting darker outside, it's starting to look better. It's starting to pop a little more. Yeah, as, it, as you can like see less of it. But yeah, if you show the jams, the door jams and all that. None of this opening the door and going, oh, what a close door respray. Yeah. It escalated quickly. Yeah. Yeah, I, when I bought the car, it was going to be just cut and polish it and get it on the road. Yeah. Not today. Not today. Also worth mentioning, I did mention this in the take without the mic on. I saved this car. 
I'm not going to say it like that. That sounded not good. <laughs> he saved this car. The guy he bought it from was some mechanic in Ballarat who just wanted to put a V6 Ecotec in it and skid the car. Yeah, but he was a nice guy. He was a nice guy, yeah. And it would have been a great skid car. Oh, yeah. It would have been maybe better than this. No, Well, no. the difference <laughs> is he was going to put a Holden motor in it. I'm just going to put a Nissan motor in it and do pretty much the same thing. <laughs> yeah, so. which is, is, you know, much better for YouTube. <laughs> Yeah, but I'll raffle it off. Um, there'll be a thousand tickets, fifty dollars a ticket. If they don't all sell out, then it's not going to auction. So fifty grand or nothing. Yeah. And if it doesn't get finished like that, then you know. In this condition. Straight on to marketplace. It's ninety-nine percent complete. <laughs> Twenty grand. I know what I've got. All that. Yeah, shit. No time wasters. Yeah. I know what I've got. I mean, all you really have to do now is paint four doors, a bonnet, the boot. But, oh, the guards need to be dinted, um, you know, panel beating on the guards, paint the guards. The dash needs to be fixed. Oh, that's right, all the trim. The engine bay torn. needs to be fixed. All the bushes in the We've car. We've never actually done. driven the car, so... Oh, yeah, knows? we have it driven could... it. Episode uh, one. Uh, Episode one, it was on the road getting driven. And it did all right. It was pretty... Think... Episode one. What, up and down the street, you mean? Yeah, up and down the street, that's driven. Yeah, but I'm saying, like, get it up onto the freeway, and who knows what this thing will do. Oh, yeah, I'll get it onto the freeway in this. Yeah. Who needs doors? Drop a ball joint straight into the wall. Yeah, I reckon it's cool. I'm happy. Oh, got rid of the, uh... So they usually, 120 wires, because the people watching this are the people who have them. So, yeah, but they usually have a badge here. They usually have a badge here. <coughs> I got rid of the badge, because... I saw this one in Japan, which I thought looked cool. I don't know if it's a sunny thing. If anyone can let me know, let me know in the comments. But um, I'll put up the photo of like which car it is. But they it didn't have one on that, and I thought it looked pretty cool. I think it's a GX thing, because they usually have this rear garnishy thing. Is it a garnish? Anyway. It looks <laughs> fun. Garnish is it a garnish or a valence? Va valence or valence? Valence, valence. Oh, Vala, no. Vala, 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 valence. Oh, well, that's on the front of the car. That's like the front spoiler thing. Anyway, anyway, anyway. The GX thing. That's really expensive. Um, Yeah, I think it looks cool without it. Any final pointers or tips on someone who wants to paint their car? Other than maybe um, don't do it because it's a lot of work. If you're going to paint your car, buy a car that doesn't really need to be painted. And then paint it. <laughs> That's a good point, actually. A if lot it, of the work is just in rust bot, repairs and bodies. Yeah, so. body. Something that's straight. Straight is everything. Yeah. So you get much all the time credibility, the YouTube views, just for painting a car, but really, it's half the work. Yeah, as far as they know, I fucking took it to a shop and then painted it. I didn't spend six months <laughs> I doing shit. I think they might know, Harry. I oh, think yeah, they might know it's not a shop. We just won't say which. Yeah. yeah. Any last pointers? No. No. It's worth doing. It, I'm happy with it. It's not done. Well, uh, it, it'd be a lot harder on a big car, I think. That's a good point. The I'm lucky it's is such a, uh, a small car. Very small car. Yeah, we've got a HJ panel van. I wouldn't dream of painting that. Yeah. That uh, a lot of flat panels on that. It's be. fucking huge, though. Yeah. Like, yeah, this roof is like... You can almost reach your fucking arm across it, and it's like... Yeah. This will not be the end. I have to still clear coat it, so I'll see you all soon. It'll be in a little bit. Sweet. Yeah, next little bit will be the clear coating, and that'll happen now. <laughs> Alrighty, g'day. Um, <laughs> bit of an update. It's been three months since I painted the body. I've been chipping away at it bit by bit. Uh, it's taken a fucking long time. Um, pretty much, I went into... I painted the body pretty much in the heavy end of uni and then I got stuck doing uni stuff and then all the rest of it. I'll show you where it's up to. This will be the end of this episode. The next episode will hopefully be putting it together and then I can show you the whole thing. But the idea at the beginning was to have one episode, paint clear, do the whole thing. But it's just a much bigger process than I thought it'd be. So I'll show you where we're up to and then I'll cap it at this one. Um, cheers for the comments on like the videos and the Instagram and all that people checking if I'm actually still building the car I am still building it I spend most days doing it it's just really time consuming um, it's taken f ages uh, yeah I'll show you an update on it
So yeah, this is sort of where it's at. I've done the boot lid. I have to do these two doors. I've done the other two doors um, inside and out. I'll show you those. I can't really pull it out because there's a bunch of stuff in the driveway, but hopefully you can get the gist. I had to take this all back and then refill a primer and try and get it looking good because it sort of, it had all these waves in it. Because when I got the car, it had that strip along the side of it. I'm not sure what they're called, but it had that strip. And when I took that off, it had this really nasty adhesive under it that brought a bunch of paint with it. And I thought I got rid of all of it, and I thought it was ready for paint. And then when I actually painted it, uh, you could still see the edge of where that strip had been. Um, so I had to knock that all back, and I'm pretty confident now it'll be all right. Before we do clear, I'll, I'll paint that, but... Yeah, we're up to sort of here. It's looking a lot better than it was. Um, progress is slow, but I'm still working my way through it. Cheers for all the support. Thanks for all the anyone who's been commenting or liking or subscribing. Uh, it's grown a little bit since I last posted, which I really appreciate. I might post a bit more regularly on the Instagram and all that given smaller updates on what's going on just so it looks like I haven't disappeared but yeah thanks to everyone who's uh subscribing liking and commenting keep doing it it helps me a lot um and I do read them I do appreciate them sorry if I haven't replied to any I'm gonna probably do that now but yeah cheers for tuning in um till next time hopefully it won't be another six or eight months or whatever how long it's been but cheers for sticking by it see ya